We want to see the, uh, the, the business case uh, for the budget and uh, I think when you look at some of the other states who are putting a tremendous amount into infrastructure uh, in the regional areas, and I speak of New South Wales, who've recycled assets, I'm suggesting that probably something along those lines uh, would be helpful to regional Queensland and particularly to the likes of the, the broader Toowoomba and the Darling Downs and South West region. It uh, would be very helpful if they could start building some of that essential infrastructure. And I speak of things like some of the connecting roads, some of the state government roads that have a massive freight task now, uh, where uh, product leaves properties now, grain particularly, in not in 20 tonne loads, it leaves in 70 tonne loads. We need roads that have the capacity to take that product directly to the port. So water security is a massive one here. Road connectivity, uh, you know, and the general support that there is for flood mitigation that we've had. We've seen a lot of work done with flood mitigation. Terribly thankful to the state and federal government for their support, but you know, the journey is not finished. The railway parklands is something that we think will be a, a very focal point of our CBD now and into the future. As people begin to use different sort of housing, you know, and there'll be people living in the CBD and working in the CBD, uh, I think the railway parklands will become more important and we certainly are enjoying the partnership that we've had with the state government and we look forward to there being more money flowing our way from the state government to help us on that journey.